Hi friends, I am Parvati Krishnan. Today's topic is preservation of food as sugar concentrates. Sugar concentrates means sugaring is a food preservation method similar to pickling. Sugaring is the process of a desiccating a food. So, in this topic, we will see about a preparation of jam and jelly. It is a easy and simplest preservation technique. It does not require any specialized equipment and uncommon ingredients. So, let us see the preparation of jam and jelly. This is our contact details. If you have any doubts, you can contact us. First, we should know about the principle of sugar concentrate. Sugar in high concentrations act as a preservative due to osmosis. It attracts all available water and it is transferred from the microorganisms into the concentrated sugar syrup. The microflora is dehydrated and cannot multiply further. So, the concentration of sugar in sugar preserved products must be 68% or more which does not allow microorganisms to grow. Lower concentrations may be effective but for short duration unless the foods contain acid or they are refrigerated. The critical concentration of sugar required to prevent microbial growth varies with the type of microorganisms and the presence of other food constraints. Now, we will see about the advantages of fruit preservation as sugar concentrate. Fruits are highly perishable foods and can be preserved to extend their shelf life by a number of preservation techniques. The method of preservation has got its own importance and benefits. A number of seasonal fruits can be preserved and may be available during off-season. It is an important way of utilizing fruits as more than 60% fruits and 40% vegetables are wasted in our country as decayed due to the insufficiency of storage facilities. The products made of sugar concentrate are very useful and convenient to have. So, these have got greater importance and attention among the people in urban nuclear families and children. Since soft fruits due to improper handling and transportation may not be able to enter the market and cannot be served directly and such fruits need to be given any one of the preservation technique. In that case, this is one of the best methods. The products also possess substantial nutritive value. For example, sugar gives energy and many vitamins and minerals are retained. Apart from all these, sugar concentrates are very much liked by all categories of people. There are some basic ingredients required for making sugar concentrates. The first main basic ingredient is fruits. These are the basic ones for the preparation of any sugar concentrate. This can be used as such or in some other manner. Example, jam is made of fruit pulp. Fruit extract is used to make jelly. Marmalade and squashes and preserves are made of whole or pieces of fruits. Fruit pulp means this is the basic one for jams, squashes, fruit syrup, etc. This is prepared by cleaning, cutting and mashing the specific fruits or fruit pieces or by boiling the pieces with water and pulping it with a mixi. Fruit extract means this is one of a basic component of jelly and marmalade. This is obtained by boiling the pieces of specific fruit in water and straining to get the extract. The second basic ingredient is sugar. Sugars act as a sweetening agent and preserving agent. Sugar also act as a gel forming agent and plays a major role in pectin gel structure. An optimal level is required for the formation of gel structure. The third ingredient is pectin. Fruits and their extracts obtain their jelly forming characteristics from a substance called pectin. Pectin is a type of carbohydrate present in fruits and is important structural material found in cell wall of the fruits. Pectin is present as protopectin in fruits and as pectinic acid in overripe fruits. Protopectin 
द मिडिल लैमले ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रोटोपेक्टिन प्लस अदर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स विच वेन बॉयल्ड इन एसिड सोल्यूशन सच एस जेली मेकिंग इज हाइड्रोलाइज टू सॉलिबल पेक्टिन प्रोटोपेक्टिन इज अबंडेंट इन फ्रूट्स लीव्स एंड फ्लैशी फूड्स वेन पेक्टिक सब्सटेंसेस बिकम सॉलिबल दे आर टर्म्ड पेक्टिन पेक्टिक एसिड पेक्टिन ऑन हाइड्रोलाइजिस ईल्ड पेक्टिक एसिड देर आर सेवरल इंटरमीडिएट्स इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इंक्लूडिंग द पेक्टिनिक एसिड स्टेप द यूनिट ऑफ पेक्टिन इज रिपोर्टेड टू बी पेक्टिक एसिड विद कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप एस्टिफाइड बाय मेथिल अल्कोहल देन जेल फॉर्मेशन जेल फॉर्मेशन इज अ नेटवर्किंग प्रोसेस अपटाइंड बाय शुगर एसिड वाटर कॉम्बिनेशन द फोर्थ इंग्रेडिएंट इज एसिड्स एसिड्स गिव द जैम जेली देयर फर्मनेस टेंडरनेस एंड विस्कोसिटी generally citric acid is used for this purpose and is a natural source found in almost all fruits in addition to this synthetic citric acid is used it act both as preservative and gel forming agent along with its flavor enhancing quality the fifth ingredient is chemical preservatives these are chemical additives added to provide unfavorable condition for the microorganisms to grow potassium metabisulfate and sodium benzoates are used as chemical preservatives in sugar concentrates the sixth ingredient is color these are the synthetic substances added to improve the appearance and flavor of the product now we will come to the topic of jam Jam is a semi-solid product made from the pulp of fruits. Jam is a product obtained by cooking fruit pulp with sugar and acid to desired consistency. Jam is made by boiling the fruit pulp with sufficient quantity of sugar to a reasonable thickness till it is firm to hold fruit tissue in position. The tropical fruits which are good for making jam include papaya, pineapple and mango. In case of the fruit it contains less pectin or acid it may be added if the fruit is not acidic in taste addition of lime juice improves the flavor of the jam This is the flow chart for the preparation of jam First we should take ripe firm fruits then wash it peel it and pulp it pulping means remove seed and core and add sugar and add water if necessary then boil it with continuous stirring and add citric acid then judge the end point and by further cooking filling hot into sterilized bottles and kept in a cool temperature and pour thin layers of wax over the jam until you build up about half an inch of wax on the top of your product and put a cap and store at ambient temperature now we will see about the method of preparation of jam step 1 selection of fruits select fully ripe fruits having good color and aroma not possess any defect or decay unripe and immature fruits should not be used step 2 preparation of fruit wash the fruits well in cold water peel the fruit gently and remove the seeds cut the peeled fruits into small cubes if the fruit is hard it has to be cut otherwise need not cut but boiled with little water example grapes to extract the pulp step 3 preparation of pulp add 100 ml of water to 1 kg of fruit pieces and cook for 10 minutes and crush the fruit pieces with a ladle or pulp in a mixi step 4 addition of sugar and acid to 1 kg of sour fruit add 1 kg of sugar 1 kg of sweet fruit add 750 g of sugar citric acid should be added at a rate of 2 g per kg of fruit step 5 addition of pectin most of the fruit contain enough pectin for the formation of jam to find out whether it has got enough pectin do the pectin test as follows 
take one teaspoon of pulp in a test tube and add three teaspoon of methylated spirit and shake it well. If it forms a big clot, it represents enough pectin content. Otherwise, the content shows cloudy appearance. Require the addition of synthetic pectin as five gram per kg. Step six: Mixing and cooking. Mix the pulp and sugar thoroughly and cook the mixture with occasional stirring till the temperature of the mixture reaches one not five point five degrees Celsius. When the mixture has attained the required temperature, dip a spoon into the mix and lead the product to flow. On cooking, if the product falls in the form of sheet, it is understood that the end product has reached. This test for doneness is called sheet test or flake test. If the product is still to be cooked, cook until it answers the sheet test. It is to be noted here that the citric acid has to be added just five minutes before removing the product from fire because. If it is added along with the sugar and pulp, it will invert the sugar to glucose and make the jam syrupy. Step seven: Cooling and packing. Cool the jam and fill in a clean sterilized can and close it at once without delay. Store it in a dry place away from direct sunlight. Remember, the color, essence, and preservative should be added before packing. Usually, jams are coated with a thin layer of paraffin wax to prevent molding, but this practice is rare in these days. Now, we will come to the preparation of jelly. A jelly should be a transparent and well set product and should have the original fruit flavor. It should keep to the shape of the mold when removed. When cut, it should retain its shape and show a clear cut surface. It should be tender enough to touch but should not flow. The characteristic texture depends upon the presence of pectic acid and sugar in correct proportions. Qualities of jelly. Jelly should be in clear, transparent, sparkling, attractive color and keep its shape in which it is cut not breaking. Pectin extraction process. Successful jelly making depends upon the right extraction of pectin. Fruits extracted with cold water does not yield good pectin source since it is insoluble in cold water and so remember the fruit must be crushed boiled in hot water. Extraction time should be optimum to retain the flavor. Optimum time requirement for extraction of pectin. Apples, jamun, 20 to 25 minutes, gooseberries, grapes, 5 to 10 minutes, oranges, 45 to 60 minutes, govas, 30 to 35 minutes. Strength of jelly. The strength of pectin jelly will depend upon the quality of pectin, quality of acid present, quality of sugar present and concentration of pectin. This is the flow chart for the preparation of jelly. First, we should take a firm fruit, then wash it and cut it into a thin slices, then boil it with water and add citric acid during boiling. Then extract the strain and make a pectin test for addition of sugar and add sugar, then boil it and judge the end point. Then remove the scum or foam by 1 teaspoonful edible oil added for 45 kg sugar and add color and citric acid. Then fill hot into clean sterilized bottles. Then pour a thin layer of paraffin wax over jelly and put a cap and store at ambient temperature. Now we will see the method of preparation of jelly. Step 1. Preparation of fruit extract or pectin. Select good quality form fruits rich pectin such as gova. The fruit should be just ripe. Overripe and underripe fruits should not be added. 
wash the fruits and cut into small pieces cover the pieces with water of about 100 ml per kg to which small quantity of citric acid has been added boil the mixture crushing occasionally for about half an hour strain the mixture through a coarse cloth and extract residue once more with 400 ml of water the extract obtained should be enough for 1 kg of prepared fruit step 2 pectin test and addition of synthetic pectin do the pectin test as mentioned before and if the pectin level is low add synthetic pectin at the rate of 5 g per liter of fruit extract step 3 addition of sugar acid and cooking the mixture to 1 g 1 kg of fruit extract containing good amount of pectin and citric acid 1 kg of cane sugar and 2 g of citric acid must be added cook the mixture till it forms thick syrup with a boiling point of 105.5 degree celsius citric acid should be added at the end of cooking do the test for doneness and if ready remove that from fire step 4 filling sealing and packaging the finished product is poured into sterilized jars seal the jars air tight as the product is thermatically sealed molding or fermentation is avoided during storage then jars are allowed to cool and stored in a cool bright place so these are the steps to prepare a jam and jelly we can also try it in our home in next class we will see remaining sugar concentrates thank you for watching us